He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hey, do you know why we say that? No, why? Well, because in the Bible, Jesus told his friends and his disciples that he was going to eventually die and leave them and that he would die. And he told them he would rise again. And you know, they, they didn't believe it. They were shocked. So when it really happened, it was a big surprise and people went around shouting, he is risen. And we do it still to remind us, Jesus did die, yes, but he rose again and lives for us. So let's say it all together. He, he is, is risen. risen. He, he is, is risen indeed. indeed. As you can see, I have a jar that says sin. See how dirty and yucky it looks? Because sin is all the bad and yucky things that we do. It says in the Bible, in 1 John 3, verse 4, everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. Sin is doing things our own way instead of obeying God and doing things his way. Sin separates us from God. And my jar says Jesus. See how clear and clean it is? Because Jesus led a pure and sinless life. In the Bible, it says in 1 Peter 2.22, Jesus committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. He never told a lie. Jesus is God in the flesh. In Colossians 2.9, God's whole nature is living in Christ in human form. And I have a jar that says me and you. <laughs> See how clear and clean it is? That is because we are born without sin and... Wait, 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 wait a minute, Miss Kathy. We are all born with a sinful nature. That's because of Adam and Eve who brought sin into the world. We know from Romans 5, 12, sin entered the world because one man sinned and death came because of sin. Everyone sinned, so death came to all people. So me and you and everyone, we're all sinners? Like telling lies? Like disobeying our parents? Being selfish? Wow, I have all this yuckiness and stuff in me, but what if I do good things? Like what if uh, my grandmother's sick, and I write her a goodwill card, and I do something good. What if I always obey my parents? So no matter how hard we try, we always do bad things. So me and you are sinners. We can't save ourselves. We all need a savior. Yes, me and you need Jesus who is pure and without sin, paid the price for our sins by dying on the cross. In the Bible, it says in Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were all sinners, Christ died for us. The story of Easter begins in the book of Genesis when God created a perfect world. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and their sin messed up their relationship with God. They brought sin into the whole world and everyone now has a sinful nature. God loves everyone so much that he can't imagine heaven without us. So he sent Jesus, who died on the cross, to pay the punishment for our sins. After Jesus died on a Friday, he was placed in a tomb and sealed with a huge stone. But Jesus didn't stay dead. On the third day, he rose from the grave. And on Sunday morning, the tomb was empty. Jesus is alive! If we put our trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he will give us new life with him. He will take away our sins. Wow, wow, look at that. I want Jesus to come into my heart to be my Lord and Savior and take away my sin. All the yucky, dirty sin is gone. But what if I sin again? The Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9, if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If we put our trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he will forgive us all of our sins. 
that is for everyone, the whole entire world. In the Bible, it says in 1 John 1, 9, but God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. God forgives me and you and every one of our sins. If we confess our sins, he makes us pure. Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus, God has made a way for us to spend eternity with him in heaven. And that is the great news of Easter. Let's be sure to share this wonderful news with everyone we know so that they too can be saved and spend eternity in heaven with God. Kids, remember what we said at the beginning of our lesson? Let's say it all again together. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Have a wonderful Easter. Peace be with you.